Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a hot minute since I have uploaded um, and today I am back with a eyeshadow tutorial for you guys and it's obviously the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, I know I've been gone for like a few weeks. Today I decided to come on here and just film this eye look for you guys. Um, I recently bought the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. So I decided to do a look with it and this is the look that I came up with. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do want to say please don't forget to subscribe if you guys have not already. Um, YouTube just came out with like these new rules where like you need to have a thousand subs and a certain amount of minutes watched for so that my videos can be monetized. Otherwise they will be demonetized. So if you guys could please do me the favor in subscribing. Um, that would mean so much to me. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are interested in finding out how to get this look, then of course just keep on watching. Okay guys, so you guys can see I already have one eye done. Um, so today we're going to be going into the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, which looks like this from the outside. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, I got this recently and I decided to do a few looks with it. This is going to be my first one that I create for you guys here. Um, so I really hope you guys like this video. Um, my eye is already primed. I just need to set it real quick. To set it, I'm just going to take the the cream colored shadow in the palette. That one is just called Rolling in Dough. And I'm only going to set like my crease and a little bit above my eyebrow. For my transition color, I'm going to go in with the dark brown in the palette. That one is called Coco Truffle. And it's just going to go into my crease. So next, since this palette only has three, or one, two, three, four matte eyeshadows, I'm going to actually go into this ColourPop palette. This is the I Think I Love You palette. Now I'm going to pick up the dark brown in this palette here. And with that, I'm just going to go ahead and put it into my um, outer corners and also bring it into my crease. With that, I'm going to go in with a black shade. You can either use the black shade in this palette, it has a black shade right there, or you can just use the one in the Too Faced one. I'm just going to go with the Too Faced one, um, just because this is the palette that I'm mainly focusing on. So I'm going to take the black shadow and just do the exact same thing, go over the brown shadow that I just applied, just to really deepen up the crease and the other part of our eyes. with black eyeshadows you always want to take your time make sure you blend everything like before you add more because once you add like a good amount of black it is going to get really hard to blend out so just always take your time blending out the shadows especially when you're working with black eyeshadows so i'm also going to be taking where is it i'm going to be taking this like smaller fluffier brush with the black eyeshadow and it's going to really help me focus it in the crease um, and this is just an extra step I like to take when I'm going to like cut the crease that way you can actually see the black right there um, this isn't ne necessary but it's just something I like to do so I'm just going to go ahead and do this into my crease And then of course blend out once again all right so I'm going to go ahead and cut half of my crease so for that I'm just gonna take a small brush and then with some concealer and just clean up half of my eyelid
Alright, so now that I have half of my crease or half of my eyelid cut, I'm going to go in with this pink eyeshadow in the Too Faced palette. This is called New Money. So now that I have a layer of the pink on there, I'm actually going to go ahead and spray my brush just so that the color can be a little bit more pigmented and more shimmery. So now for this part, you want to go back into the black eyeshadow and blend this line in between the two colors so it doesn't look super harsh right there. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the eyeshadows how they are and I'm going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to be taking two eyeliners, the Maybelline Gel Liner and the NYX Liquid Matte Eyeliner. the eyes are done for right now I'm going to go ahead and do my face makeup off camera and then I'll be right back so we can finish off the rest of the eyes okay you guys so I am back and my my face makeup is done and then I also went ahead and applied some lashes these are the kiss lashes in the style flirty just just in case any of you guys are wondering so I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line I'm gonna take this Maybelline precise skinny eyeliner um, in the shade black and I'm applying this into my waterline To the Too Faced palette, I'm going to take the black eyeshadow and I'm going to go ahead and just do like a really close tight line in next to my waterline. And to further blend that out, I'm going to take the brown shade in the Too Faced palette, the one called Coco Truffle, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out the black eyeshadow. And then once you have that blended out, go ahead and apply some mascara to your bottom lashes. For my inner corners, or like for like the highlight, I'm going to take this shadow right here called Rich Girl. Lastly, for the lips, I'm going to take this. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick. This one is in the, sh in the shade Seductress. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this eyeshadow tutorial. If you guys want to see more looks with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette, I am more than happy to do that. Um, I probably will do more even though you guys don't say anything or like that because this does have like a lot of pretty eyeshadows that I want to use. Um, you can even use this for like Valentine's Day. Um, I know it's a little bit more on the smokier side, but for those of you who like to rock a smoky eye for any type of day, here is this eye look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not already. That would mean so much to me. Um, with that being said, thank you everyone so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.